Hey dear friends and followers, welcome to Fizzbot Production. My name is Suren. Today I want to talk to you about why I decided to switch the stock handlebar on my Iron 883, that's Harley Davidson Iron 883, to a mini ape hanger handlebar. Um, so I made that decision about a year back and, and I love the, the current setup that I have. It doesn't look as good as the stock handlebar, but I definitely can ride longer. I can ride longer with this new setup and uh, it's very comfortable riding on a uh, mini ape handlebar uh, than it was on the stock handlebar. So today's video is going to be me talking about why I decided to do that. Um, and this is an ABS equipped a motorcycle and I saw tons of videos on YouTube about how to swap uh, handlebars for a non ABS uh, motorcycle. Uh, but this is an ABS one, so hopefully for those of us that you know wanted to see a, or find a video on how to swap handlebars for a ABS motorcycle or ABS equipped motorcycle, this is the channel that I will be producing the videos on or hopefully you will love the content that will be produced in the next couple of weeks. Now if you are especially a one person army working on a project like this then you will definitely want to subscribe and hit that bell button so you get notified when I post the videos because I was completely on my own and I did it and I want to share it with you. Now without wasting a lot of your time let's go back to the original intent of this video which is me talking about why I decided to swap the stock handlebar to a mini ape hanger handlebar hopefully you enjoyed this video thanks all right now you might be curious about why i'm swapping the handlebars in the first place right i mean this handlebar makes this motorcycle look so good uh, but let me show you when i see what happens So I unsit it this way. This is my this is this is how I ride it. Right? But when I ride I have to lean a little bit forward, which is okay. But as I ride a little longer, I tend to do that. And this part of my back starts serving. And if I'm on a slightly longer ride, not long enough, but you know, if I were to be riding for an hour, I have a tendency to do this and ride it this way. You know, with one of of course my right hand on the throttle so I can keep stay the throttle um, and then you know I normally have my hands this way um, I'm, I'm, I mean I can't I can't stay like this for, for, for a long time so I tend to do that which is I mean you could argue that it was the big deal but it's also I also feel like this is a little further out for me than what I need it to be. So I'm trying to bring it to about right here. Um, and I think that would be the, the right position to have it at. And I took some, so what I did in preparation for this video, you know, or in preparation for this swap, not the actual video, in preparation for this swap, I bought a handlebar from Harley, which is a mini ape again. I think it's like a uh, eight and a half inch riser, but you know, when I measure it, it's about 12 inches. Um, so it's gonna come to about right here. I'm, I'm, you know, that's that's at least what I what I uh, was able to to figure out. So how did I figure that out? I did almost like a dry run of everything so far, meaning I took the cables out that I purchased and and sort of laid it side by side and make sure that I have the correct length for all of my cables, uh, including the brake line, the clutch the uh, the uh, the throttle cables and everything so i know that the new ones is going to work with my new handlebar which is going to be again um has is going to have a have a much higher rise than than the stuck one that's right here the other thing is that you know in again in order to make sure that i was comfortable what i did is i actually removed this handlebar a couple of days back and like you know, I put towels right around the tank so, so I didn't want to scratch the tank. But what I did is I actually put this handlebar right here, you know, with towel, enough towels here. 
and actually put the handlebar itself right here to do a dry run again and make sure that you know the handlebar was was something that I wanted because once I start the work it's it's no easy work I, I just you know from my research so far it is not an easy task it should take me at least a few hours um, I'm spending at least a few hundred dollars to get this thing thing done so I didn't want to just you know jump onto it without knowing that the handlebar was right for me so other than that I think you know like I said um, I I I like how this motorcycle looks with the stock handlebar. Uh, I just don't like m me riding that way for you know for longer than a certain number number of hours. Um, and the longest I've ridden this motorcycle straight is probably over a couple hours. And I'm guessing this is the pain that everybody you know all the all the sports riders at least the Iron 883 um, family would would recognize or, or at least you know agree with me that this position for a long period of time can 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 be a little um, you know fatiguing so you you tend to get tired uh, and my again my back starts to give up a little bit and then you know again in two hours or every hour I take a quick break and then get back on it but Hoping that when I swap the handlebar, I can get a, a, at least a few, um, like half hour to an hour more of riding at a minimum. I hope that's the case. Um, and that's. Uh,